Good afternoon. Um, normally with that kind of light show, I'm with my favorite ice hockey team. Uh, and I'm not on the rink, so that's good for them. Um, but that's a good analogy. Uh, putting the puck into the goal is probably as difficult on the rink as that what the next company, what Oxypit, is doing, finding the right diagnosis in a radiological image. Um, in my main life, I'm dealing a lot with radiology and digitization, so that was a natural fit, you could say. But what was intriguing is that the team behind Oxypic is not coming from medical or radiology. They're doing that, what Lars told at the beginning, open minds, cross borders, and apply knowledge to somewhere else where it has never been. They are a team from Vilnius in Lithuania, and they've developed their tool based on one million radiological images from the University Hospital in Vilnius. And what they've done since then is something that Jogundas from Oxypit will tell you right now, and I can tell you it is intriguing. Thank you. My name is Jagundas, I'm a co-founder of Axipit. At Axipit, we are applying artificial intelligence to medical imaging. In particular, we are automating chest x-ray reporting. So now you have heard five stellar teams who are raising money right now. But I'm proud to tell you that our 1.3 million seed round has just been fully committed. And now we're looking for early adopters to bring our AI solutions to the clinical practice. The problem that we are solving is very simple. The number of medical images has recently skyrocketed. The number of specialists, radiologists, describing these images has remained mostly constant. Therefore, most of countries are now facing shortage of these specialists. That's the problem that Oxypid is attacking. We are working on the biggest medical imaging modality, chest x-rays. Around 2 billion such images are taken every year, and this number is growing by 100 million per year. Each of the images has to be checked by a radiologist. They first look at the image, understand what is in there. That's the interesting part of the job. And then the second part of the job is writing a report. That can be very tedious and boring, just copying and pasting the same template over and over again, like more than 100 times a day. That's where Oxpit comes in. We have developed a solution, an AI-based software solution, which takes in a chest x-ray image and generates a full report as if written by a radiologist. That report covers pathologies of the heart, the lungs, the lymphatic system, as well as placement of various medical devices. Part of the product is covered by a patent application. We call this product chest eye. Of course, the physician is always in control. So, what happens after we generate this report? Well, we put it in front of a radiologist, and then they have two choices. Either they make some small changes and then approve it, or they can approve it right away. The second thing, approving right away, happens almost 60% of the time already after just one year of development. And this number is getting better all the time. We have asked what radiologists think about our solution in a medical imaging society meeting, and the response that we got was tremendous. They love our solution, they need it. The market is also there. Uh, that's because a cost on writing a report on a chest x-ray is five euros, everywhere, even in developing countries. And there are two billion such images performed every year that need a report. That adds up to 10 billion euros per year. The market is further validated by the presence of competition. All the competition are startups. And we stand out because we can find 75 different radiological findings in a single image. Our closest comparator can only find 40. This means that only we can generate reports as if written by a radiologist. This also means that we can prioritize sick patients with confidence and that we can actually save time and increase accuracy of these reports. 40 radiologists in two biggest research hospitals in Lithuania have access to our solution and are providing feedback for it. The next step is regulatory appro approval for clinical deployment in Europe. 
during the start of bootcamp program, we have established ties with five top university clinics in Germany, and we are working towards having external validation performed by these clinics. This could not have been accomplished by uh, some random gathering of people. We have an excellent AI team. Our CEO is a University of Cambridge graduate. I hold a PhD in theoretical physics, but the rest of the team is even more impressive. Our most famous member is Dyrus, who is number four in Kaggle. So Kaggle is a, a community of data scientists. There are almost two million of them, and they are constantly competing. Dyrus is number four on this global ranking. Nagelis is a medical doctor and a radiologist with a deep interest in AI. Finally, Jonas has been working on current generation of artificial intelligence solutions since their very inception. We have won numerous awards, including the cervical cancer screening competition by Intel, and also the biggest computer vision competition last year, where we beat more than 2,000 teams. Finally, Society of Imaging Informatics in Medicine, as well as EAT Health, recognized our solution as one of the most innovative this year. Now is the time to bring AI to the clinical practice. So let's do that together. Thank you.